Hi, my peeps. Something is on my mind. Now, I was talking to my daughter today and talking about some subjects and topic, and something came up that, you know, I see very prevalent among Jamaican mothers, you know. And there's a question I want to ask, and uh, I, I also want to get your guys' feedback on this matter to see if I'm the only one who think this way. Now, I like to deal with, I'm a godly woman, but I like to deal with practical matters and matters that face, uh, uh, things that face my culture, that are negative and that are positive. And however, I just like to deal with, you know, life subjects on a whole, right? Now, this is the question. Why is it that, and I'm, I'm talking about specific to my culture now, please nobody don't get offended. I'm talking about how I grew up, what I know, what I see going around my culture. So if it happens to be yours, then we can identify, okay? So um, why is it for Jamaican mothers, most of them, not all of them, because there's always exception, to a rule most of them when you have your girl child and when she's seeking a mate you tell her make sure you get a man that can mind you make sure you might get a man that can provide for you make sure you get a man that can give you money make sure you get a man that can give you all the whole world on a platter right that's what you tell your girl child but when it come to your boy child and that boy child get a talking to somebody daughter and that somebody daughter wants him to give her the whole world on a platter you call that 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 girl a user a skis and all kinds of name and you don't like her because she using your son and she this and that why is it your son should keep his money but your daughter should take somebody's son's money explain that to me explain that to me i've seen this happen on so many occasions even within my own surrounding yes your mother tell you don't don't take a man who can't give you nothing don't take a man who can't look after you and the mothers are ready to come to you for money because you got a man who give you money but anytime it come to their sons and their son's dating a woman who wants something, doesn't it? If, if it's a rule for your daughter, why isn't it a rule for every other woman's daughter? Why is it different for your son? And if you're raising your son to be the right kind of man, aren't you raising your son to take care of his partner and take care of his family and take care of his home and to make that first? Hmm? I don't get it. Anybody know anybody like this? You hate your daughter-in-law because your daughter-in-law is not allowing you to put your hand in your son's pocket like you used to when he didn't have anyone. You despise your daughter-in-law because you think your daughter-in-law is taking something that doesn't belong to her yet. Your daughter should get everything she can from her partner. What kind of double standard is that? Every man should take care of their family. Every man should take care of their partner. Every man should take care of their home. Their partner should be their priority. And a woman shouldn't be, be, be um, brought up to say, just take, 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 take. You teach your daughter her responsibility in a relationship too. Because she is the help meet. And so many times, you know, for the people who are suffering this, for the women who are suffering this, I can tell you this. A lot of times these mothers don't understand because they've never been in committed relationship that takes two people coming together and doing things and discussing and communicating and making decisions and putting their family first. No, they're not used to that. They're used to the hustle me kind of relationship. 
you can leave me anytime you may be giving me bun you may be cheating on me so i'm gonna get whatever i want or whatever i can get till it ends they don't understand commitment you know and working together Anybody know anybody like this? Anybody feel what I'm talking about? If you do, I'm interested in your comment. I'm interested in your opinion. Just drop, drop a little note below. Let me know what you're thinking. Okay, have a great day. Remember, Jesus loves you and so do I. Bye, 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 bye. Mwah.